with a quick tutorial on how bench scientists can use S3 as a safe place to store their data so that other scientists can discover and build upon their work. And I've got a really simple Jupyter notebook here, could just as well be an R notebook, and I've run some FRED scores and plotted them based on a FASTQ file that I pulled from 1000 Genomes, just as an example. And I've also run GC content and plotted that. And now what I'm going to do is let's say that I'm ready to share this experimental data with my colleagues or at least back it up in a place that isn't at network tax storage and isn't box where other people can find my work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the S3 bucket that I want to work with. I've got this quilt bio staging bucket here. I'm going to click on push package and let's give it a name here, FASTQ analysis. And I want to note that I've got FRED quality and GC plots for a specific FASTQ file in here. And now what I can do is I can just go to my desktop and I can grab both the primary data and the analysis and drop that on Quilt. And now I'm just gonna click push. You can push, I'd say safely, up to a gigabyte or more of data from the Quilt catalog. And it's fairly fast depending on your internet connection. Push, it took about a minute and a half for me. And you're gonna see that Quilt takes a moment here to write the manifest or the description of all the data that's in your package. And you just click browse package now. And this is gonna do a couple interesting things for you. So the first thing is, you now have a time capsule which represents this experiment at a specific point in time with your message. You can see that the notebooks that you use to do the analysis are visible to anybody on the web. They don't have to run Jupyter or run R. And you can even see this is a fairly large FASTQ file. It's a over 100 megs. And you can even see a little preview of the FASTQ file there. And now just to show you a little bit how discoverability works, if I type Fred, which was one of my commit messages, I'm going to find a couple things. And most notably, I'm going to find a specific version of the data for the experiment that I dropped onto Quilt. And I've got a full revision history here. You can also access the data if you choose in Python, or if you just wanna grab the data locally, you can just click download and you'll have it. 